we want to look at what it means to be kings and priests. For the Lord God said concerning Israel, ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. In the New Testament, the Lord describes his church or his body as a royal priesthood. And then in the book of Revelations, we read that the Lord Jesus hath made us pastors, kings, and priests. So there you have it, a kingdom of priests, a royal priesthood, and kings and priests. All are the same, and that is the Lord's description for his people, his children, or his church on earth. So what does it mean to be kings and priests? The Lord Jesus himself is given the title King of Kings. He is the capital K, King, the ruler, who rules over the little K, Kings, which is us. The Lord also holds the title, the High Priest, set over the other priests, which is us. In our relationship and fellowship with God through prayer, intercession, worship, the study of his word, etc., we function as priests. As kings, we do not rule over each other or seek to rule other people because we are all subject to the law. It is in the application of the word of the Lord in every area or sphere of our lives, such as in our family, work, our relationship with others, etc., that we function as kings. You see, the rule of the word of the Lord in our lives cuts out any other voice that may seek to rule our lives. So, because we cannot be ruled by none other than Christ, we are kings under the supreme king, Jesus. He hath made us kings and priests is expressed in our relationship and fellowship with the Lord and the ruling of his word in all areas of our lives.